what's up you guys what's good welcome or welcome back to the channel hey if you're new here i'm chanel you know the drill uh, i'm a resident movie watching bff together we watch movies on my channel and i let you know what's going on in my brain the whole time i'm watching them and then at the end i let you know what i thought and we head to imdb where i do the movie trivia because that is my favorite part of watching a movie you know you finish a movie and you get all cozy in your bed or you after a, in the theaters you come into your car and you're like I gotta know. I gotta know the facts. I gotta know the facts. Feeling real chill today. I'm sitting back in my seat because I have decided to lock focus so that the focus stays here and not on my glorious, glorious window. This could be an epic fail. I could be out of focus this whole video. And that would suck. Anyway, today's video is going to be The Birdcage from 1996. I have severely slacked off on Pride videos for the channel, but we did catch Philadelphia, which was a huge bummer. And now we're gonna watch The Birdcage, which I think is gonna be an upper. Like, I'm freaking ready. I hope it is full of laughs and joy. I've never seen The Birdcage. I don't know what it's about. From the, the title doesn't even help me, but from the poster, it looks show busy, like nightclub-y show busy, which I love. I am obsessed with Robin Williams. He is one of the greats of all time. I think we know that. You don't need me to tell you that. I love him. I love Nathan Lane. And then I see Gene Hackman and Diane Weist, which we've seen some Diane on the channel before. She was just in, well, we know she's in Lost Boys, but she was just in another movie that we saw. I'll probably write it on the screen. I forget. Anyways, this is gonna be a freaking riot, I hope. It's marked as comedy on IMDb. It's rated R, my two favorite things. It is directed by Mike Nichols, which I know I know him. I just don't know from where. The Graduate. Hell yeah. I've seen The Graduate. Love that movie. Charlie Wilson's War. Postcards from the Edge. Work. Oh my God. I've seen Working Girl. Mike Nichols is the man. That's that on that. If you want more from me, definitely don't forget to join me on Patreon. We have a lot of fun over there. Other ways to support me in that description box below. If you haven't already, give this video a like, comment, and a subscribe because it really helps me keep doing this. What do I think the birdcage is? Time out. Maybe the birdcage is the name of the show and or the name of the club. Let's go with that. Okay. And without further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is the birdcage from 1996. Water and another city I'm not going to know the name of until we're right in there. Christine Baranski, I love her. I'm obsessed with her. Ah, I see palms, palm trees. Are we in Palm Springs? No, there's no water in Palm Springs. <laughs> Chanel. Um, the birdcage is a place. It's a place. Is this gonna be a musical movie? Maybe it's like a. I was gonna call it a drag bar. Yes. Yes, Robin Williams. Oh, I love him. So cute. <laughs> mm. I miss him. I really miss him. I know we all do. The Kennedys are here again for supper. Ted? No, it's the uh, younger ones. The Kennedys? Like the Kennedys? Wish we could get Ted. I wish we could get Ted. There's a Ted Kennedy. <laughs> Oh my God, I was like, ladies. <laughs> I love showbiz, man. Damn. And I, please, I don't know what happened this time. Go upstairs, try and get her ready. I'll be right behind you. I know that actor, and I feel like he does not have that accent. <laughs> please, you gotta get dressed for me now, please. No, Agador. Victoria Page will not dance the dance. Nathan. Do you know how she died? How? Alone, weeping for her lover. Oh, no. Darling, have you eaten? You look haggard. <laughs> Daddy, uh, please. Have you got to help yeah. me a little? I'm going to use haggard more. Open it, Albert! Open it! Come on! Go away! No! I don't want to see me! I'm hideous! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hideous. Don't look at me. I'm hideous! Hideous! Girl, we have all had those days. I'm with you. Oh, I, 
Oh, oh. There is a packed house out there. Oh. That's all I am to you, isn't it? A meal ticket. Never mind about my suffering. It's just about your show. Just a meal ticket. I was adorable once. Young and full of hope. And now... I was adorable once. <laughs> I'm this short, fat, insecure, middle-aged thing. I made you short? <laughs> Punchlines. And Starina will not disappoint them. Even in this state. All right. Starina. Okay. Hagador, I need some Pyrin tablets quickly. What are you taking? Okay. Nothing. Why? Why are you giving him drugs? What the hell are Pyrin tablets? He's aspirin with the A and the S scraped off. Uh, God, what a brilliant idea. Brilliant it's idea. aspirin. Pyrin tabs. I've yo-yoed from a 16 to a 10. You've never said a word. If it wasn't for the Pyrin tablets, uh, I don't think I could go on. <laughs> I saw a bottle of white wine chilling in the refrigerator. I only drink red. <gasps> and so do you. Go ahead, hit me. Oh. That's what you want to do, isn't it? We'll do it. Hit me. Go on. Hit me. <laughs> they are mapping a very stereotypical breakup scene between a man and a woman onto this situation. And all my sketch comedy feelers are buzzing. I love it. We love a classic mapping scene. I would have made a great show, girl. The one, the only, the incomparable. Starina. Let this be a musical number for Chanel. Shan Shan loves musicals. As you can see, I've just gotten back from Safari. And look what I picked up, a new moth. <laughs> Bad, I didn't kill him. He died and left me everything. Something. <laughs> this song was everywhere in the 90s. The conga. Went to a lot of dinner dances, you guys. What is that? Why did you talk to me like I'm just serving? Because you are a faithful houseman. Now go. Yeah, but my father was... Faithful houseman. Now take that wig off or I'll tell Albert you're wearing it. Did you do that, I'm gonna tell him that you've seen somebody else. Two words for you. Green card. Oh, <gasps> now go. And leave the front door unlocked. That explains the accent. Okay, my guess. He's courting a new performer, maybe? Trying to get a new starring act. And Starina is not going to be happy. Oh, where are we? This place is awesome. <gasps> Who's this? Hey. <gasps> oh. It is a lover. And I gave Agador the night off. So we're all alone. Oh, this is the white wine boy. So I have something to tell you. Yes. But I don't want you to get how you get. I'm getting married. Oh. Devastating. Are you upset? But let me tell you why. But let me tell you why. You're only 20. Look, Pop, I know. I'm young. Oh my god. Pop? That's his son? I know exactly what I want my future to be, and I mean, I have this incredible role model. Why did I think they were lovers? And my fraternity it doesn't come from a broken home. Stop flattering me. It's cheap. That makes me so uncomfortable. I really thought they were lovers. Oh my god. This is too crazy. You do this, you're on your own. <gasps> I don't want anything to do with it. No, okay. Okay. If that's how you feel about it. I do. Dad, give your blessing. Come here. <laughs> little picture, you called my bluff. <laughs> no, it was good, though. Really? Bad. I think I backed off on a little bit. <laughs> Tell me it's all right. It's all right. I am so relieved. I did not want to see a father-son cut-off moment on screen right now. Barbara. Are you crazy? Boy, Diane. When was the last time we've been sleeping together for a year? Oh, God. <laughs> Where does the young man come from, Barbie? Ra. Barbie Ra. <laughs> Fun of the Maplethorpe exhibit? No. Goodness, no. That's his dad shaking hands with Nixon, you guys. I think. I'm pretty sure. It's a sort of an ambassador. What does the mother do? Mother. Right. Hello, Barbara. Well, here's to your future. No, dear, that was not my toast. You saw this boy at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and now he's in Greece with his parents? <gasps> no. Lioness. 
It's about two minutes from Fisher Island where Jeb Bush lives. Really? They love Jeb. Definitely love Jeb. I see I see the seeds we are planting. Boy has a liberal gay father. Girl has conservative parents. Hilarity ensues. It's Val. Val? Go check. He's sleeping in his room if you don't believe me. Oh, we were supposed to think his son was his lover because of the way Nathan Lane's dramatics. We were supposed to think he was cheating. Now I feel less creepy. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Not today. The piglet is home. Uh, <laughs> would you like to take your... The piglet is home? What? Just gonna try this oh. sample. Chocolate schnecken. Mmm, a triumph. The dramatics, friends. When the schnecken beckons. Ugh. Nathan Lane is so good. I'm not saying anything. I promised your father. Mm -mm. But you're only 20, and if you throw yourself away on some dormitory spot, you'll be sorry for the rest of your life. There, enough said. My mind is still on oh, dormitories. Well. <laughs> oh, our baby is going to leave. Oh my god, core memory. When mustard used to be in that bottle. Do you see that bottle? This is abortion, same-sex marriage. It's a wonderful show. It's the most intelligent show on television. <laughs> It's the most intelligent show on television. It's perfect. That's perfect delivery. A prostitute? No. A minor? And black? What? I don't believe this. I don't. My co founder has just died in the bed of an underage black whore. Now, wait till the media gets a hold of this. Ruin him. Come on, media. <laughs> morning oh what are you doing here it's one way to get back in what about a wedding a big white wedding if necessary we'll get the pope's blessing it's not hard no i don't know <laughs> mr and mrs armin coleman of greece and south beach right cut two heels outfit what is this dream <laughs> fairy dust fairy dust fairy dust <laughs> let's just try and get through it well you always ask so much of me i have to understand every nuance of a song i have to give a full out performance but everyone else can just get through it i mean he's chewing gum chewing gum helps me think sweetie you're wasting your gum let's take it from the <laughs> Thank you, I know you do. Just as you have to explore it. But let's start with the premise. This is really well crafted. Twyla or Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, Michael Kidd, or Madonna, Madonna, Madonna. But you keep it all inside. <laughs> but you keep it all inside. Bye. <laughs> well, she told him that you were the cultural attache to Greece and Albert was a housewife. Dead. He's Kevin Keeley. Who's Kevin Keeley? Do you ever read the newspapers? Of course I do. Variety, The Star, The Arts and Leisure section, New York Times. <laughs> Punchlines. What am I supposed to do? Close the club so I can pretend to be some cultural attache? We've got to get rid of a few things around here. What? What things? What do you mean? <laughs> and, well, how about that? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, I see. So we need a total redecoration so we could be more like other people. Down. Love redecorations. I don't give a damn what he thinks. Amen. Also, she should not have lied. Still outside the home of Senator Kevin Keeley, the co-founder of the Coal. Doesn't this home look like the Home Alone house in Chicago? Where are you driving him? South Beach, Florida. <laughs> I love the quirky, quirky score. I don't know. Yes, it is. My family and I are leaving town for a few days uh, uh, for reasons that I, I, I cannot. Uh... Wedding. He's going to play along. He has to. It's Robbie Williams. He's going to put on his best straight man now. And are they going to send away Nathan Lane, though? They should keep Nathan Lane as like the house boy.
Ain't nobody better than this man. Freaking love him. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna have to get yourself a uniform and dress like a butler. No, I'm gonna look like a f Maybe, but <laughs> a uniform. Adieu. Don't ask, don't tell. You start first thing in the morning. Oh my god, this was Don't Ask, Don't Tell era, 96. What up, Bill Clinton? Ah, uh, have I loved the sun. <laughs> Not Neptune. Tired means you look old. No. And you look rested means you've had collagen. You look... <laughs> Too much? Don't add. Put the moose on a patio. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> We've been robbed. I don't mean, no. i I just taken a few things out. Val's fiance is coming tonight with her parents. We thought it'd be better if you weren't here. The monster, the freak, is leaving. <laughs> Albert! Oh, please, don't cry. It's all right. You can stay. No, I don't want to stay where I'm not wanted. Where I'm... Damn, these bathing suits. There's some butts out. <gasps> oh, my goodness. It's very fast. <gasps> Let's get you out of the sun. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Here we go. <gasps> Love the drama, living for it. Nathan Lean is so comedic too. I should give him. I should give him just as much credit as Robin Williams for being very funny. Could you tell them I was a relative who dropped in? Val's uncle, Uncle Al. Well, what's the point to be Val's gay Uncle Al? Oh, I could play it straight. They need to keep both of these men in for me. Like I need both of them there. Look at your posture. It's gonna be Dad and Uncle Al. Please. Of course you can pass as an uncle. Together we can do almost anything. Oh, a man. The movie I want to see. Get your pinky down. It's up oh. again. All right. And your posture. Oh! Oh, my! <laughs> it's all... Stop screaming! Ah! I'm teaching you to act like a man. <laughs> it's the screams for me, like the shrieks. Men smear. Smear. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, and stop trembling. Oh Hold the knife boldly in yes. strength. <laughs> yes. All right, let's try walking. Holding the sandwich? Doesn't matter. Just walk. Holding the sandwich? Doesn't matter. <laughs> He's laying it on so thick. It's a cliche, but it's an image. What is it? What is it? What is it? John Wayne. We'll work on that, buddy. We will work on that. No good? Actually, it's perfect. I just never realized John Wayne walked like that. <laughs> good notes. Oof, they're really drumming it up for me. We're going to be at the halfway point, I think, when all this, when they get there. Try to lose him. Armand Goldman, you old so-and-so. How about those dolphins? <laughs> Screaming queen. Oh, son of a bitch. How you doing? How do you feel about that call today? I mean, the dolphin. Fourth and three play on their 30-yard line with only 34 seconds to go. I don't know what we're saying. How do you think I feel? Betrayed? Bewildered? Wrong response? I'm not sure. <laughs> Was that the right response? I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Swing that ball. The Nathan Lane shriek is the best. It's the shriek to end all shrieks. We can get away with Albert as an uncle if we had a woman as a mother. Oh, it's very unfair of you to try to talk Val into this, Armand. He has every reason not to. You really think she'd do it? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Yes. Armand. Yes. Yes, it's Christine. Shut the f up. Excuse me. Sit down. My God, I've thought about you. So she much times. looks perfect. His physicality in this is a 10 out of 10. It's like award winning. It is so comedic. It is so spot on. And it is not easy to do. I am. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm very maternal. 
And Albert's practically abreast. <laughs> Albert's practically abreast? What? And I thought, what the hell? Let's try it once with a woman and see what those straight guys are raving about. <laughs> He did it with her to get Val. Did we last? I know exactly. From 2.30 to 3.45 a.m. two times. 2.30 to 3.45 a.m. an hour and 15. This morning, bachelors beware. Maidens watch out. Fair warning. If, if you, you start, start to feel a tingle, tingle love, love is around. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I'm sorry, Miss Archer. I couldn't stop them. Albert? <gasps> time he screams it nails me skewers is albert here no straight looking Coming back from miami at 20 miles an hour with the parking brake on with the parking brake on <laughs> the crucifix that stupid moose hair for it oh how i would have loved to have seen your children Shouldn't you be holding the crucifix? It is the prop for martyrs. <gasps> the prop for martyrs. I'm leaving you my stereo. No. Wish we. My best wigs. <laughs> All right, I'll bite. Which wigs? Wow, I'm loving these locations. They've got to be real. It looks real. Um, maybe they painted this bus stop for the movie i don't know but it's i just love this production design they did a killer job what's this read it nathan lane's costuming is all it's just perfect i have the right to give you half of everything i own well, i thought it'd be safe if something happens to one of us quick give me a pen i don't want all of this armand Palimony. I'm 50 years old. There's only one place in the world I call home, and it's because you're there. It's ours. Mm. They're handling the serious moments, like, really well, just as well as the comedy. Jackson's last words, your money's on the dresser, chocolate, were racist and demeaning. The prostitute's given name was Natumbundra, and she is... That idiot Jackson. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is not going to work. Come on, don't be so negative. Oh. <gasps> Uncle? <laughs> perfect. It's perfect. Nathan Lane's the MVP of this one. What? I'm not wearing any makeup. What about those? Is the pink socks? I was like, those are trendy. I just wanted so much to help you. And you hate me. Let Uncle Al stay. So hard for money. <laughs> I, worth hard I thought for the parents would be here by the midway point. Me right. They're not going to be here till the end. We're going to get them in the last 30, probably. I never wear shoes because they make me fall down. Just put your shoes on, okay? Okay. It's the crucifix for me, guys. Armand, this is Catherine. Telling me not to come tonight, and I wanted to check. Who canceled mom? Is that? Yes, and there's uh, there's no way to call her back. She's in the car. Are you crazy? She'll make the evening work, Papa. I mean, without her, I'm screwed. You know that. So this is hell, and there's a crucifix in it. <laughs> it's my hell. <laughs> I love what they did with this location, with the sets, what, getting the extras, everyone tan, good bodies. It's insane. This is uh, less like Palm Beach than I imagined. He's locked himself in. If we're lucky, he won't come out at all. Poor Albert in this. He doesn't deserve this. Call me. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Oy. He wasn't kidding. Is that uh, Goldman? Coldman, uh, Coldman. Uh, Sparkus is, uh, Guatemalan. New. Senator. Coleman or Coldman? Coleman. The D is silent. You have a very forceful handshake, Mr. Coleman. <laughs> well, you have to in Greece. <sighs> well, you have to in Greece. <laughs> See, it's, it's not so much a vacation house as a uh, monastery. Yes. Well, it's just charming. <laughs> Books 
Oh, look at this. Nan. It was the cut to monastery that got me. Monastery. He goes, monastery. She is dressed like a pilgrim. Diane Weist. Agador, Spartacus. Agador, Spartacus. Sis, I'm being called by his full name. Over there? Yeah. All right, thanks. God bless you. Oh, made it. By the scotch, if you have it. There's someone else home. Just our dog, Piranha. We always lock her in when there's company. <gasps> Ooh, I will finish pouring goat. <laughs> Drawbridge, yeah. <laughs> Wait a second, aren't you the guy who said no way before 30? <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> yes, 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 it does sound funny. Tennessee, Georgia, in this incredible country of ours. Mm. My wife and I used to uh, go down to Virginia every autumn. Although I do think that the foliage in Ohio is underrated. <laughs> <sighs> cool story, Dad. You should tell it again. You have time. Red leaves, purple mountains. He's still going. She's stuck, but she'd like us to start dinner without her. Uh, I, I would have picked up, but I was just so interested in the senator's story. Oh, I say mom's not coming. And we're going to have dinner with just these guys. And then Al comes out. Come on. I want to see that. I've never had so much go so wrong so quickly. So much, so wrong, so quickly. Let's give her a half an hour. And then if she isn't... Here I am. <gasps> so late, but the traffic was unbelievable. <gasps> to meet you at last. It... Oh, you must be Barbara. <sighs> Come here and give me a hug. Oh. This is taking my breath away. No. How did I not see this coming? It's uh, Coldilomon, Coldman in Greece, where Armand's work is, and finally the vulgar Coleman in Florida. We don't know where we are until we hear our last name pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> is that a slow pull in as they're all realizing what's going on? Closest close ups I've ever seen in this whole movie, right there. Yeah. Oh, well, bless them. That's the way nature made them. Robin Williams did this too. Doubtfire. God, it's just so nice to meet people like you. Oh. <laughs> Our kind of people. Oh, bless you. <laughs> now this is what Clinton didn't understand when he started in on school prayer and gays in the military. That's what he didn't understand. Val, don't patronize your mother. She's an amazingly intelligent woman. You know, I think homosexuality. A lot more ice. One of the things that's weakening this country. How about those dolphins, huh? I know you've heard the terrible news about Senator Jackson, how he died. Yes. We don't believe a word of it. What do you mean? He was obviously framed. And I, for one, would like an autopsy. That's just what Rush Limbaugh said. Ugh, Rush. Haven't heard that name in a few years. I've never felt such tension. This is my favorite kind of comedy, you guys. You know it. It's satire, baby. Make fun of the thing by being of the thing. Being the thing. Gene Hackman's crushing it. Stop the doctors, you'll stop the abortions. If you're going to kill someone, kill the mothers. That'll stop them. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I could have danced. Mm -hmm. I could have danced all night. Have made for more. You have a beautiful voice. I, I never I love My Fair Lady. I've actually never seen the movie. I've just sang the songs in school. We should do My Fair Lady on the channel. What do you guys think? Oh Dinner is served. I'm having such a wonderful time. Who did it better, Nathan Lane or Dustin Hoffman? Interesting China. Why, it looks like young men playing leapfrog. Is it Greek? Is it sexy? Greek boys. And girls. Don't you have any girls on your bowl? I have one. So do I. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's a girl. I may need glasses, but I can see that. <laughs> oh. I couldn't find your glasses. 
Maybe you left them in the car. Mine has a girl on it. See? <laughs> and a man's wealth is measured by the size of his cock. Will you excuse me? Good job. Shut up! It's okay. We're all right. It's fine. Damn it! It's shrimp! It's all happening, friends. Oh. Whatever you do, don't go upstairs. I'll call you tomorrow, Armand. Assholes A. B. It was Al who called Catherine's secretary and said, don't come. Oh, just like these two adorable youngsters. Don't you agree? But you can't tell me John Major doesn't have something on the side and she can't handle it. Who? Mrs. Coleman. Oh my gosh. Why should she care about John Major? He's a side no, piece. No. All you think about is your career. And poor little Mrs. Coleman. Oh, please. You're just as worried about my career as I am. It just breaks my heart. They don't make women like that anymore. This is like literally Tootsie when he starts falling for her. Good evening. Uh, may I take your purse as usual or... YouTube silence knees. How many mothers does Val have? Just two. My father owns a nightclub downstairs. My mother is the star. This is my wife. And this is the lady who had Val. It's nice to meet you, Catherine. You've done a good job. Thank you. It's so heartwarming. He isn't married to a housewife. It's a and cultural their name isn't Coleman, it's Goldman. They're Jewish. <laughs> I love how they're framing this as worse, being Jewish as worse than his scandal. Kevin, nothing's changed. It's still me, with one tiny difference. Well, not tiny. Not tiny. I would have really liked to have had you as my family. Barb. Senator Kelly. Oh no. Couldn't the Keeleys slip out with the audience at the end of the show? No, oh, they're waiting for that. They'd be recognized in two seconds. Put him in drag. Not necessarily. Put him in drag. Put him in drag. Ladies and gentlemen, and as we come to the end of our show, you are family too. Please sing along. Nice little bookend on it. It's how we opened. Show me them. What did they do with them? Is that the gum chewing guy? I think so. Yes, mama. I gotta know if Sheen Hackman liked that part or not. Speaking because I know his character is kind of an asshole. Here to dance, baby. We are family. Nah, not it. Meet me in 20 minutes at the corner of El Dorado and Palm. Lady, not for a million dollars. <laughs> we did it. Lady, not for a million dollars. Is this their wedding? This is their wedding? This has got to be the wedding. Ah, La Cage Off Follies. Yes. Oh, I've always wanted to see that musical. Bob Dole. Uh, make it about you. Frickin' cute, right? God damn it. Let's talk about it. The Birdcage from 1996. I have now freaking seen it. Guys, guys, that was endearing as all hell. That lives and dies by the performances. It lives and dies by how they handled the tone. And they have got the ultimate, ultimate professionals. We are in excellent hands with the birdcage. This doesn't work if you don't have good performers. This really is like an actor's movie. You need these actors, I think, 
This is all my opinion. It's my channel, we know. I think you need the actors to take this the most seriously. You need a director to say, hey, play this straight, no pun intended. Play this like it's real, like play this from reality. So even though Nathan Lane is giving us larger than life, he still feels like a grounded real person. And same with some of the situations, right? They feel larger than life, they feel ridiculous, but they are taking pains to give us real reality and it works it freaking works it is very well done i'm like i'm like shocked kind of i'm like i feel like this shouldn't work and it works it's really funny the writing is next level it is so tight let's look at the screenwriters jean pore yeah so these are the lacage people probably i'm super excited to see how it relates to lacage lacage en folies i don't really know how to say it help me do the pronunciation down below anyway i'm gonna sound like a freaking broken record but this is a really strong cast and i think they just make it work hank azaria as agador wanted way more christine baranski but i am so happy where this movie went in the third act i love 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 that albert became mom beautiful i should have seen it coming and i didn't i was just taking the ride and all in all i think this is super well done i think it is handled with the same love and care as like a tootsie and for that i have to commend the filmmakers i think they did a great job so that being said can we just go straight to my trivia section because i'm freaking excited yeah this is great this is great 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 for, of the director mike nichols required nathan lane and robin williams film one good take of each scene sticking to the script before he would allow them to improvise something both the actors are known for that's how you get your movie guys make sure you get the clean takes of the script first hank azaria realized after filming he actually based his voice on his grandmother's oh my god robin williams slip and fall during the shrimp scene was not planned williams really fell and he hank azaria and dan futterman are holding back laughter um we're gonna have to go look at that in post i have to go check that again and i remember thinking oh no he dropped the shrimp <laughs> Oh, Robin Williams was originally cast as Albert, but he wanted to change from flamboyant characters. Paul Thomas Anderson has said that this movie is one of two films that without fail or question will make me stop dead in my tracks and watch all the way through to the very end no matter what else is happening or needs to get done. The other film is Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Oh my god, Hank Azaria was in heat. Mike Nichols had to be covered by a sound blanket during the toast scene because he was laughing too loud. <laughs> Breakthrough movie role. I just got chills of American Broadway actor Nathan Lane. I didn't realize this was his breakthrough. I was like, it's good old Nathan Lane turning in a Nathan Lane performance. Nope. Nathan Lane hadn't come out as openly gay at the time of this film's release. I think I did see that Robin Williams protected Nathan Lane from having to come out on Oprah. Steve Martin has gone on to say he regrets turning down the opportunity to be Armand because he would have liked to have been on screen with Robin Williams with Robin Williams originally being Albert. Oh, the two minute opening sequence looks like one continuous steady cam shot. I didn't really calculate it as being a long take, when in fact the sequence consists of three separate shots seamlessly combined through magic dissolves, matting, and morphing. One is the helicopter over the Atlantic headed over a street in Miami South Beach. Two begins on a crane simulating a chopper where the steady cam operator is lowered to the ground level. Three is a studio downstage where steady cam operator begins just outside the club. Okay, so that street is a soundstage. Mm. Okay, trivia section's light, but I didn't have too many questions except locations. And it was real Miami mixed with soundstage. And let's go budget 50 million. Chanel says 50. 31. I'm overdoing it on all my budgets these days. Grossed 124 million worldwide. Wow, definitely up there with the Mrs. Doubtfires. Good job, Nathan Lane. I want to give Nathan Lane. That's for Nathan Lane in this. I didn't doubt him, but Nathan Lane took no prisoners. He kills it in this role. I can't, they cannot be overstated. I turned on this movie expecting to fall in love again with Robin Williams because I'm already in love with him, but Nathan Lane. It's Nathan Lane. This is Nathan Lane's movie. Okay. So you've seen my reaction to The Birdcage from 1996. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think of The Birdcage? Ba -da -ba -da. What do you think of The Birdcage? Where, what were you doing in 96 when this came out? What'd you think? Does it hold up? Please let me know. Comment down below. Um, if you want to see my full length to this, please join me on Patreon. If you haven't already, give this video a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Um, and of course, as always, you know the drill. I'm going to go eat. <laughs>